everybody, before you watch the video, make sure you follow the page, like the video, hope you enjoy. Martin, um, just um, you start teaching as well, you know, and you've been teaching for quite a while now, you know. Yeah. And what are the 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 how how much you think that helped with your jiu-jitsu having to teach, and what to be your advice following up on the question with someone that just you know starting jiu-jitsu you know like what you could tell with your experience now teaching for them to focus on or not to do in order for them to improve faster yeah well definitely like the biggest thing i learned from teach because when i first started jiu-jitsu it was, it was pretty much just phil teaching at the, the springfield and like initially i just started helping with the kids classes and mm -hmm. initially i was just the dummy you know fulfilled to sort of like oh, yeah. demonstrate the techniques cool. and things like that and like definitely the biggest thing that teaching helped me like sort of over the time that i was training because one of the biggest things is when you don't have good training partners and when i say good training partners i just mean like you know like high level sort of like um technical it's like if you're if somebody comes off the street and they've never done jiu-jitsu it's like don't expect them to know everything yeah. And, and I think that is that is something that I've picked up over this time where initially I was quite good at that because I had to in order for me to get better I always had to help my training partners you know it's like and same because the same way like you know they do something and I'm like what did you do and that's how you really improve but then teach coming from a teaching perspective like we're actually teaching a class like I would say like I was probably not the best coach for like quite a long time just because I I sort of started because you know, once you learn these concepts, these principles, these things, you in expect other people to have something. Like you start, it's obvious. Think, yeah, you think it's oh. like, can't you just see it? Like, can't yeah, you just yeah. do this thing? Yeah. And and I think I have that, this chat all the time yeah. with Phantom Man because, and I love to put myself to. That's why I like to go and learn new things yeah. because I can just be see how hard it is just to get one word. Yeah. You know, like I started doing Pilates, I started doing yoga. Just to understand one movement, one yeah. word, or they saying, it's already, oh, okay, okay, I know that one, you know, yeah. today. And I can see how hard it is for us, this is obvious, you yeah. know. But a lot of people that are very experienced in a field struggle to give information, you know, and that's yeah. why it's good to be a beginner at something, you know, yeah. do start something, feel how hard it is, so you can... Yeah, to understand expectations, ideas, Your yeah. expectations can be equalized towards it. Yeah, I felt that with uh, That's interesting, with man. coding and computers. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, never grow Like, I always grew up playing, like, video games yeah. and stuff like that. But actually learning how the internals work, yeah. that just opened my world. I was like, okay, wow. It's like, you know, and even just not training consistently for myself, like, for a long time. Like, you know, because when I was teaching, I really just focused on, like, a lot of my students where I just felt myself kind of trying to sort of get them to the point where they sort of improve yeah, yeah so helping them learn in the way they learn yeah. versus like sort of just throwing out a bunch of techniques and then you know like it's everyone's just, different it's, yeah, it's, hard exactly. to, it's hard to hit like every different facet of how people learn whether some yeah. people need to hear it a certain way some people need to see it a certain way some people need to go and physically do it a bunch of times everyone yeah. learns in different manners and stuff and it's difficult and absolutely some people are very timid some people are more overt like you talked about this, um, about a particular UFC coach and stuff like that, that got in trouble online because of what he was saying to somebody during a fight and stuff. But they know how to deal with their athlete. They are yeah. very intimate with them. They understand the nuances of their psychology and stuff. They know how to deal with them. And that's a really hard thing as a coach. Like you're dealing with different personalities, different psychologies, different yeah. all these things. Some things you can do with some people that you can't do with others. That's hard, man. Yeah. Yes. Because you're trying to figure that's out all the hard. little mm. nuances of how to deal with everybody. Like yeah. in group classes, it's pretty difficult. You know what I mean? Like you just try to hit as many different ways yeah. of teaching as possible. You sound and you click and show your hand and stuff. Yeah. Or you, you step it and go one, two, three. 
history yeah. you explain the technique you show it a bunch of times so you're trying all of that stuff then you'll walk around and show people individually you might do it on them or you might get them to do the movement they're doing on you and tell them how to move their body and stuff it's really difficult to hit all those different like um aspects of how people take information and like you're saying it's everyone's different yeah. man i always struggle with that always yeah. i always will too you always expect people like yeah like man come on you can't get it come on yeah but no it's hard and even a hey guys thanks so much for watching the video um if you haven't yet already make sure you subscribe and like and again go and check us out on facebook on instagram like all our platforms give us a follow at bjj.101 on instagram and go and check out bjj101.com.au to access the full video library <laughs>